welcome to my channel. Um, I am a climate organizer based in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, and I'm here with some sort of tour to show you my micro studio. For folks that aren't familiar, a micro studio is basically like a really small studio. Um, so the reason that I am living in a micro studio is one, because capitalism uh, <laughs> sucks and drives prices up and rents up in a lot of major cities. So it's really hard to find an affordable place to live, let alone an affordable studio. Um, I really wanted to try living on my own. I've never done that before. I also have, I'm diagnosed with OCD. So I like things to be really clean and I'm very particular. So I really did want to live on my own. And so basically the only way that that was possible on my organizer salary was to find a micro studio. Um, but I found that it was really hard to figure out how exactly I wanted to um, create this space and how I wanted to fit everything together because there aren't many resources out there actually about um, furnishing such a small space or living in such a small space because it's kind of unusual and also on a budget like I did find some stuff out there that was like you know like architects and stuff that really intentionally chose to live small and they spent like a lot of money and time like creating their space and like you know putting a Murphy bed up like all this sort of stuff um, but I live in a rental so I can't like make these huge renovations and also I definitely do not have the money. So everything that I'll be showing y'all is pretty easy, pretty affordable. Um, and yeah, I just hope it helps some of y'all out there who are just struggling, <laughs> struggling to make a place that feels safe and comfortable when um, it's so expensive to live in a city. So first I'll start with the kitchen. So. The kitchen is um, like right when I walk, right when you walk into my apartment. Um, and actually I managed to snag this great, um, it's kind of like a high top kitchen table or counter. Um, and it has like some built-in storage, which is great because storage is limited in this apartment um, where I can put some extra kitchen things. And then also it serves as a great divider to the space. So like basically like, you can tell that my kitchen is over there and that my living area is to the left. So another great hack is if you don't have an oven, an air fryer can work really, really great. For the most part, the air fryer does everything that um, I would need from an oven. Um, that's like a great option for um, living in a small place that maybe doesn't have space for an oven. Another thing I really like is I got these um, they, these magnetic kind of spike racks to put on my fridge um, because I'm really short and it's it would be really hard for me to like store all of them up on the higher cabinets that I have. Um, I wouldn't be able to like see what was what and also it would take up so much space. Um, and then the last thing I really like about um, my kitchen area is that I basically, I got this microwave. It's supposed to go over a microwave and then create more space on top of the microwave. Um, it's a sort of shelf thing. And I put that actually above my kitchen sink so that I could put um, dishes that need to dry on top. And I also have like my tea kettle up there because I don't have any more space on my counter. Um, and I use that every day for like coffee and stuff like that. Um, so that was a great, <laughs> space maker um and like there are other things that you can buy that specifically are supposed to go above kitchen sinks but this sink is really small so i actually couldn't find anything that was specifically like made for that size um that did that sort of thing so i had to improvise um so more on my entryway i have as you can see this kind of big shelf um that i hung up that i put like my backpack and my bike helmet and my keys and like jackets and things and it's also kind of frames I find that these two things frame the space of like this is the entryway and um, I think with this really small space it's really essential to create those kind of separate um, like yeah just like creating the illusion that there's different rooms um, so moving on to my living room I have this 
beautiful clear glass table that my girlfriend picked out um and clear things definitely have like an effect where it seems like it's not there and it makes the space like way bigger so i really love that i also have this beautiful succulent wreath that my mother gave me for christmas um and i have this little meditation pillow which is great because i use it every day to meditate but also um it can serve as like a little ottoman when i'm sitting on the couch put my feet up on or sometimes i use it to like prop up my computer if i like want to watch a show in bed or um stuff like that um speaking of which my bed so um i have this little couch that folds out to a full-size bed this is the only way i could find a way to like put a full-size bed into my studio um it folds up when i don't use it and then it pulls out because i have a girlfriend and when she comes over like i we're not gonna be sleeping in a twin size bed um and then also this is like even when it's folded up it's smaller than a twin size bed so even if you were like one person living in a micro studio i would still recommend this because it gives you way more space way more flexibility i put it up when i need to work out or do yoga um or have a little dance party in my room um it's it's so versatile i really love it um and then my mantle i have this kind of trellis with uh, my plants climbing up it it eventually will fill out to be very green i think that is a great centerpiece i am really a big fan of making organic materials the centerpiece of your space it also makes it feel a little bit less crowded i think when you have plants because it's like they're living being things they're not just like items that are like clogging up your space um so yeah i really like them then i have a couple of like dressers to the left when you start to go in no more towards the windows and more towards my like um workspace my desk space i work from home full time um so it's kind of like a little nook where my desk is at um and i also will do my makeup at that desk um actually if you like open up the drawers there's like a lot of space in there and i keep a lot of like those makeup and hair items in there so i really love this little nook it also has a beautiful view if you know boston um it's very typical brownstone street um yeah it's gorgeous i love it um then lastly the only other room i have is a bathroom um, it's pretty small, don't have a tub. I don't really like baths, so that's fine by me. Also, my closet is in there. Um, my closet is really boring, I won't show you that, but it's decent in size. I keep, obviously, my clothes, um, my laundry basket, some things that are maybe seasonal that I don't need out all the time, my sewing machine, etc. Um, but the bathroom, the, actually, it had some really ugly floors, and I actually just got, for maybe $30 altogether, these wall pop um, stickers that you can put on floors and it's renter friendly like they come right off um to make the space like a little bit um yeah just nicer or like more modern um so definitely would recommend doing that and then also the other addition i made was i put a um a couple hanging shelves up and also the hanging shelves included a um like a little towel holder because there was like no thing on the wall where you could just put your towel on like a like a hand towel to um, dry your hands after washing them so that's another addition I made but really simple really really easy to do like I'm not I'm not like a tradesperson I'm not a genius um, it's pretty pretty accessible stuff to do so that's all <laughs> um, really quick to get through everything I own because it's such a small space um, but if you have any questions please leave a comment I know I had so many questions when I was setting up my micro studio, furnishing it, making things work. It can be tough and it requires a lot of creativity. So if you have any questions or wanna know how I did anything or why I chose to do something, let me know. I'm also planning on making some more videos um, and making some related to creating a space as well. Um, specifically like living a minimalist lifestyle or um, living affordably, but still managing to be a little bit more sustainable although like I'm definitely not one of those youtubers that's like oh we can save the earth by like our own individual actions like no none of that like collective action gets the goods like go out and organize um but at the same time it does feel good to kind of be more intentional about your space I think it's nourishing for the soul more than anything um so I am interested in kind of in minimalism as like more of a spiritual movement um so yeah that's all for now. Thanks so much. See you soon.